Alright, well, I welded the diff, uh, I did it a few days ago, and then I realized I kind of made a mistake. Um, I noticed that I had, what I could do is I could push each axle in on the ends, and of course that makes the spiders push that way, you know, so I figured, oh, I'll have it, you know, nice and tight against the bull gear, uh, but now that I'm thinking about it, duh, uh, that's got to float a little bit, so I kind of got a problem, but uh, I didn't weld the pin in yet, and it does move just a little bit, so my idea now is I'm going to knock the pin that way and take it over to the belt sander and take a little bit off there, knock the pin the other way, take a little off there, push the pin back, make sure it floats nice in there turn it you know and all that make sure it seems to spin all right and um weld the pin in i guess uh and i'm gonna probably weld the axles to it but yeah with the i mean the end float i figured eh, i gotta shim that now too so i mean i kind of screwed up but now i can i can fix it i'm not i'm not totally shot yet um it was kind of weird i welded it together and i thought i warped it and uh, no, but I think it's an optical illusion because what I do is I just would, I put it in both cases and uh, like I just make sure I could hold down on one axle and try to rock the other end and see if I felt anything and I turn it 90 degrees and I do the same thing and I put it in the other case and did it and it it didn't wobble or do anything so I figured it must be cool. But uh, while I was messing around too, I don't think I did this but I noticed it was starting to be a problem. And it's where to, you can see, there's a crack right there. Darn it. It's in that little flange. Try back up. So I think what I can do, is that flange is starting to crack like it was pushed in on the end. I didn't drop it or nothing, but the other side's kind of funny too. It looks weak and cheesy. Um... I'm going to just use this stuff. And yeah, man, you just weld her up with a propane torch. Beautiful. Screw JB welding all that crap as long as you can get it apart. And uh, yeah, that's another plan too. I got a kind of had some rusty, nasty stuff in there for the input. Wasn't worn. The shaft looked good and everything, but um, kind of roughly right where you see the mark, you can put a grease fitting. That thing's got plenty of meat there. I don't really see a problem, you know, wouldn't be bad to put a shot in it, but with this stuff here, yeah, man, um, I actually, what did I do here, I welded a, uh, welded a, a boss on the bottom of the case, because I wanted to drain, you can see that, because I wanted to put in a, I wanted to drain, to drain the case because I converted this over to gear oil and all that and the case was real thin right there so I used that aluminum weld and built it up and uh, as you can see there's plenty of meat there and I was able to drill it and tap it to put in a uh, put in a drain but you know it's a little bit vulnerable but I'm not like a serious mud and dude I guess uh, I guess I could protect it with a skid plate or something, but yeah, man. I'm gonna try this aluminum weld if you can. Should be able to find this stuff somewhere. And that was one thing I did too, man, when I welded it. Uh, back to that. Uh, when you guys are locking these diffs with those little welders, man, um, you're not gonna get the penetration out of those things you really need. Uh, what I do is I took it all apart and I cleaned it with some brake cleaner and the gears look good and everything. Well. What you want to do is grab yourself a propane torch before you do any welding and just start heating all the gears up and everything as much as you can with the thing. It's going to smoke and stink and get nasty. And when it stops smoking and stinking and getting nasty, uh, just walk away for 10 or 15 minutes and let it cool off and uh, take it back over to the wire wheel. It's over there. And... Uh, take it back over to the wire wheel and uh, clean it up and hit it with the brake cleaner and then you're good to go to weld so yeah that's our little Kohler 15 it's got a little Yanmar on there uh, it's got about 42 4300 hours on it but uh, 
It runs good, just it's pickled basically. We haven't had it running or used it in a few years, and uh, yeah, we need to just give it some attention. But yeah, so uh, all that stuff, man. Freaking heat up all the gears and shit. Excuse my language. <laughs> heat up all the gears because you're going to get a way better weld. Actually, before you're welding, too, uh, probably wouldn't be a bad idea. Just heat them up as much as you can when you start welding with the propane torch and because uh, it'll help preheat the gears and you'll get a lot better penetration out of it. Um, I mean, I got a, I got a miller over here. Um, you know, it's a little nicer than the Harbor Freight deal, but uh, yeah, I'm almost out of gas too, man. I'm, ah, don't remind me. So, yeah, that's my two cents. That's I don't know, part three on the gearbox deal here. Um, yeah, do uh, I just clean the cases up? I mean, I just they have that gray RTV. Uh, I just ended up uh, blasting it with some brake cleaner and hitting it with one of those small little what are they three for a buck? Uh, kind of like the brush that's in there actually. Uh, it's a little wire brush. Just sit there and scrub at it, man. Stuff came right off. Didn't have a problem at all. But I don't really like the RTV. I like the uh, I like the anaerobic sealant because uh, where it oozes out ends up, uh, you know, it doesn't, it doesn't, it won't dry. It only dries between the two case surfaces. If it oozes into the case, it'll, it stays wet, you know, like as if you just squeezed it out of the tube. I got two options, man. I was just thinking I can either surface those down, knocking the pin back and forth. I mean, we got air power here. I got a little belt sander, uh, air power belt sander, either that or uh, Dad could probably throw it on the mill quick and, and notch those down just a little bit to give me a little more clearance, you know, make sure she spins over all right and all that. But, yeah, kind of screwed up, but I still can kind of save it, and uh, that's cool. Yeah, I'm just going to clean up the gears and that thing. It'll look all right. And, yeah, I'm going to be out for a while, man. Um, probably going to be doing nothing for a good week or so, at least. So, got a little vacation coming up, so... Yeah, I'm pretty much done, I think, for now. Yeah, thanks for watching, and uh, catch you later. Bye.